Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Java RMI, Remote Method Invocation, is a powerful feature of Java that allows developers to create distributed applications. With RMI, you can invoke methods on an object located in another Java virtual machine, JVM, which can be on the same machine or on a remote machine. This enables the creation of client-server applications in Java. Hashtag 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 key concepts of Java RMI. One remote interface, this defines the methods that can be called remotely. The interface extends java.rmi.remote, and each method must throw a remote exception. To remote object, this is a class that implements the remote interface and provides the implementation for the methods defined in the interface. 3. RMI Registry, a simple server-side name service that allows clients to look up remote objects by name. 4. Stub and Skeleton, the stub is the client-side representation of the remote object, and the skeleton is the server-side representation. Starting from Java 2, Java 1.2, the skeleton is no longer needed, as the RMI runtime handles it. 5. RMI Security RMI has its own security model, and you need to consider security policies when creating RMI applications. Hashtag 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 example of Java RMI Let's create a simple RMI application consisting of a remote service that performs arithmetic operations. Hashtag 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 step 1, define the remote interface. Create a file called arithmetic.java. Hashtag 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 step 2, implement the remote interface. Create a file called arithmeticimple.java. Hashtag 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 step 3, create the server. Create a file called rmiserver.java. Hashtag 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 step 4, create the client. Create a file called rmiclient.java. Hashtag 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 step 5, compile the code. Make sure to compile all the Java files. Hashtag 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 step 6, run the rmi server. Run the server first. You should see the message. Hashtag 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 step 7, run the RMI client. In a new terminal, run the client. You should see the output. Hashtag 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 summary. In this tutorial, we created a simple RMI application that performs basic arithmetic operations. The server exposes remote methods via a remote interface, and the client looks up the service in the RMI registry to invoke the methods. Hashtag 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 important notes. Make sure that the Java security policy allows RMI connections, you might need to adjust the security settings. For production applications, consider using SSL for secure communication. RMI is designed for use in Java to Java communication. For interoperability with other languages, consider using technologies like REST or gRPC.